Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today in another tips and tricks video I'm going to show you how you can change the language of your Windows 10 computer. Now if you're like me, I'm a bilingual guy. I speak English and French. So my computers tend to be French or English. Now this one I keep mainly in English because I do videos. But my other computers are mostly in French. And uh, you can actually switch between languages if you want on a computer with Windows 10. This feature started in Windows 8 and it was a fantastic feature. And it's the first time that you could actually change the language of the operating system in Windows. Before that, you had to buy Windows in a specific language for it to work. To change the language, what you need to do is simply go to the notifications on the bottom right and all settings. There, you will go into time and language. Move down to region and language. And there you'll see languages and it says add a language to read and type in that language. So what you do is you click that plus sign and you add whatever language you see that you want to have. Once you did that, what you'll have is basically something called the language here. So you see here I have French Canada, Francais Canada. What I can do here it says language pack available and that's what you need to do if you want to have a full experience in that language you'll click there and you'll click options and you'll click download language pack by clicking the download language pack it's gonna download everything it needs to change the language of your operating system <coughs> sorry <coughs> so the language packs might take a little time to download some are pretty big and you just leave them installed. Of course, you can change the keyboard to whatever keyboard you want. Here I chose Canadian Multilingual Standard, but I must say that you also have in Windows for Canada, uh, French Canada uh, keyboard. So depending on the laptop, on the keyboard you have, you can change that. So you leave it installed, as you see here, installing language pack. That will enable everything in French. Now, one thing about language packs is that it does not sometimes affect the apps that are installed. So, for example, your Windows install itself will be in French. The menus will be in French. But you might click an app that's going to stay in the default language. What you need to do is uninstall that app by right-clicking on it and go back to the store and get it when you use the new language options because these apps are often downloaded in the default language by themselves they just look at what language Windows is and they download the app in that language uh, unfortunately there's a few apps there are a few apps that you'll have in your computer that might not actually uh, go and change language but you know for the most part I say that pretty much everything changes uh, without any problems. So that's all you have to do. Once you have that option, once you have that language installed, all you have to do is go back and set the language as default. So what you'll want to do here is simply click on your language that you just installed and click set as default. And what's going to happen is that if next time that you reboot your computer, that is the language you will have on your machine. So if your computer is in language that you don't want, that's how you do it. Simply go and get the language packs uh, in Windows 10. This is available for all versions. So don't come and tell me, oh, um, I don't have language packs. You have language packs. The only versions that don't have language packs, there's a specific version, which is a single language version that can be downloaded. Um, that one might not have the possibility to add language packs. Um, another thing about language packs is that sometimes there are updates that will require you to re-download a language pack that you've installed. So that's very important to know also. Uh, leave it installed. You know what? It takes uh, some time to install but it, it will work at the end and all you'll have to do is set as default, restart your computer, and you'll have your computer 
in a brand new language. All the menus, all the settings, everything will be changed. And uh, hopefully that's going to be interesting. And you know what? If you're bilingual like me, you might want to have all of the language packs already pre-installed. So what you do is you just go back here and set the one you want as default, restart your computer, and you're in another language. So, you know, you can switch between French or Spanish or English or whatever language that you want. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when your videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows 10, about PCs, technology, please ask. We'll try to help you if we can. Uh, by subscribing to the channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. And we typically post tons of videos every day. Hopefully you enjoy our videos. Give us thumbs up if you do. Helps us on the ratings on YouTube. And thank you for watching these videos and for following us.